Hey, what's up? I'm Nick Roller. I'm a pop producer. I am a big fan of Studio One. I've been using it for a long time. Today, I'm going to show you how to record your voice in Studio One. Uh, this applies to talking, to rapping, to singing, screaming, anything. Let's jump into the video. But first, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Let's go. All right, so jumping onto Studio One, I've got this song here. Sounds like this. Cool, great, there's a song. It doesn't actually matter what the song is. You can do this on a blank canvas. Perhaps I should show you on that. It doesn't really matter. All right, so I'm gonna record this microphone here. I've got it running through a Focusrite Scarlett 18i20 as ADAT into an Apollo Twin. Doesn't matter too much, it's an interface. So just make sure your interface is connected if you're new to recording. So once you're on the actual session, right click on this uh, left side here and click add track mono or stereo this is a mono microphone it's one cable if it had two cables like one of my other mics it's stereo click that it's over here let's label it vocal next i'm going to click on this little button here so it might look like this just hover over the line and drag it down and i'll click this button and this is giving you all of your inputs if you don't see this or you only see like one or two things click audio IO setup, audio input output setup. If your interface is connected, you should see all the inputs and outputs that you have and you can just assign them. So my vocal mic is going through ADAT1. You can see the signal here. So ADAT1 lines up. So I'm gonna click ADAT1 here, click record. You can hear that for a second, weird. I'm gonna mute it because I can hear it through my Apollo. And then you just wanna click this button here. Hey, I'm Nick. Really, really sick. This is kind of like talking but rapping and it's... So that's how you record vocals in Studio One. Um, try not to go too loud. The loudest I really want to be going here is about 12 on this bar. So too loud, it'll start to peak. There's various plugins that you can use. Um, that's for another video. But yeah, I hope this has been helpful. Also, this is a pro tip. This is amazing if you have Studio One. I think it does it with all versions, but I've got the professional one. I think that's what it's called, the, the top one. Go down here, click this little icon. And when it says record mode, do takes to layers. It is amazing because what happens is when I record over this. Hey, yo, 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 this is a tutorial, that's sick. Now I have both layers. If it was replace, I wouldn't get to be able to actually choose which one I want to use. This is called comping. So I can say, I want to use this part of the take one. And this applies mostly if you're singing the same line and you want to try and choose the best take. So if you're singing the verse, find the best take if you've recorded it like five times. Hey, I'm Nick. Oh, yo, this is a tutorial. That's you can delete these after the fact if you want. It's really helpful. I hope this has been helpful. It's been a quick tutorial. Have a good day. Like and subscribe. Make some sick music. If you're a pop artist looking for a producer, I could be that producer. Hit me up.